The Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro is a 15 inch notebook from China with very interesting hardware. It offers a full metal body, a new Intel Core i5 8th generation processor and an Nvidia GeForce MX150 graphics card. It kind of looks like a MacBook clone and has nice premium features like a fingerprint scanner. I've used the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro for over 2 months now and this is my review. In most countries you can't get the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro at your local retailer. Usually you have to import it from Chinese shops like Gearbest. They are the ones who sent me this review unit. Alright, let's start this review with the design and build quality. The Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro looks very high end thanks to its full metal body. As I mentioned at the beginning, it kind of looks like a MacBook Pro clone, but there is no Apple logo on the back. But the Mi Notebook Pro does feel very high end and well built. The back of the screen is made out of metal too. Once you open the screen, you see a Mi logo underneath the display. The bezels around the screen are quite thin, but not as thin as with Dell's XPS series. Above the screen, we get a 1 megapixel webcam. The picture quality is not bad at all, but not awesome either. There are two USB Type C ports on the right side and a full size SD card reader. Like with some other recent notebooks, it is charged using one of those Type C ports. On the other side, we get a 3.5mm audio jack, two full size USB 3.0 ports, and an HDMI connector. All the way on the bottom are two speakers on the sides. Actually, the audio quality is surprisingly good. Much better than on my Asus Zenbook and better than on all Windows tablets I reviewed so far. I quite like it. However, I'm sure other 15 inch notebooks have similar decent speakers. I just didn't review enough of them. The keyboard is pretty good too. While I often have to get used to a keyboard a bit, I felt comfortable here right away. Just remember you can get the Mi Notebook Pro with an English QWERTY layout only. So if you're from Germany, Spain and so on, then you might have to adjust yourself a bit. Underneath the keyboard sits a decent sized touchpad. I didn't have any issues with it either. It is precise and just works. Xiaomi placed a little fingerprint reader in the upper right corner of the touchpad. Using that, you can unlock Windows 10 fast and easy using Windows Hello. And yes, the fingerprint scanner works as expected. The Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro has a 15.6 inch screen without a touchscreen. Sadly, it is a glossy display even though there is no touchscreen. So it's just like a MacBook Pro. Usually I prefer matte displays, however, glossy screens are nice and offer a better contrast. Editing pictures in Lightroom or Photoshop looks really nice on this display. Well, obviously you can see reflections easily on a glossy screen. But in fact it's not too bad here because the display is very bright. I often work with my devices outside and never had any problems here. But you will see your own reflection. It's an IPS panel with good viewing angles and a full HD resolution. And that's a bit low for 15 inches but I think it's still alright. A full HD resolution is better for battery life and performance. However, if you look closely you will see pixels. Every smartphone has a much higher pixel density. As I said, the display is very bright, but I did notice a problem with the lowest brightness setting. I noticed a couple of times that the brightness varies or jumps around a bit when I turn it down all the way. It looks like there is an ambient light sensor going crazy, even though there is none. The problem vanishes completely if I turn the brightness up just a little bit. It might be a problem with my unit only and I couldn't replicate it for this video. The Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro ships with very recent hardware. Inside runs an Intel Core i5 8250U 8th generation processor. This is a quad core ship now and its 4 cores are clocked at 1.6 GHz. In Turbo Boost they can run at up to 3.4 GHz. In addition to that you get 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD. 
Xiaomi is offering the same notebook with an 8th generation Core i7 and you can get it with 16GB of RAM as well. All versions come with an Nvidia GeForce MX150 dedicated graphics card and they all have a 256GB SSD. Thanks to that Nvidia graphics card and especially the new 8th generation quad-core chip, the performance of the Mi Notebook Pro is very good, especially if you compare to previous generations. In the Geekbench benchmark, it gets excellent results with 4080 and 13800 points. In Cinebench R15, the notebook gets 87.14 frames per second in the OpenGL test and a result of 592 in the CPU test. As you can see, the Lenovo Mix 520 with the same processor but without the dedicated graphics card get much lower results in the OpenGL test. So the performance is excellent for everyday use too. I edited a lot of pictures in Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop and didn't notice any problems. The same goes for Premiere Pro. I edited a couple of Full HD videos and the performance was good enough. I don't think you could call the Mi Notebook Pro a gaming notebook, there are better ones out there. However, I did try a couple of games on here, that includes Cuphead which runs very nicely. More demanding games like the Forza 7 demo runs as well, but only at the lowest settings and then it gets around 30 frames per second. Another game I tried is Fortnite. I was able to set the graphics settings to high and it did run pretty good with 25 to 30 frames per second. But you should probably set the settings to medium in this game, just in case for action heavy sequences. As I mentioned earlier, the notebook comes with a 256GB SSD which is made by Samsung. Well, if you want more storage you actually can replace the SSD easily. Not just replace it, but add another one, because there are two slots in total and one of them is not used at all. To change the SSD or add another one, you have to remove the bottom plate. You have to remove a couple of screws, one of them is underneath the center plastic foot thing. Once you remove those screws, you can take off the bottom plate. But be careful, it is held by little plastic knobs. While trying to remove the bottom plate, I thought I would break it, but I didn't, it just held in place very tightly. But be careful and bring enough time and the correct tools. I was kind of too hasty and damaged the bottom housing with my screwdriver, but try not to do the same. Alright, as I said, there are two SSD slots. I kept the built in one and added another 1TB Samsung EVO 960 NVMe SSD and that worked without any problems and now I have two fast SSDs running in my review unit. By the way, the Xiaomi Mi Pro Pro is shipping with a single language Chinese license of Windows 10. To be able to use it in English or another language, you either have to enter a license you already own, try to change it somehow into single language English versions or update to Windows 10 Pro. That can be very cheap at around 10, maybe 5 dollars and is easy to do. I talk about it a bit more in my unboxing video. Alright, let's take a look at the battery life. In my standard battery test, the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro got a runtime of 11 hours. That is very good, especially compared to Windows tablets. But there are other notebooks out there with a similar and sometimes better runtime. For example, according to a laptop Mac, the Dell XPS 13 can get up to 15 hours. For my battery test, I'm always looping an HD video at 50% brightness and activated Wi-Fi. During my everyday use, the battery life was excellent as well. I usually manage to get a full working day out of it with standard office work and some web browsing and so on. But like with all devices, the battery life can vary a lot. It depends on what you're doing. If you are playing Fortnite, you will get a couple of hours only. As I mentioned at the beginning, I've been using the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro for over two months now and I really like it. It is great for office work, but also for editing photos and videos. At the same time, the build quality is very good and the performance is great as well. The display could have a higher resolution, but well, Full HD is fine. So overall, I think the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro is a great notebook which is not too expensive. 
but obviously this is a notebook from China. Well, most notebooks are made in China. What I mean is that you probably can't get it at your local retailer. So while I think the value is great, you might not get the same support you might be used to if something goes wrong. I haven't tested it and show me the famous brand so the support might be fine. Just something to keep in mind. Alright, I'm NJ for MyNextTablet.com. If you've got any questions, just write them down below. Thanks for watching.